Our first question comes from Jose, and his Instagram is at noface.nobody. And Jose says, I like fashion, photography, 3D, scenography. I don't even know what scenography is. He's pioneering <laughs> um, scenography. My question is, is if it if this helps my career as a product designer, how can I include these works in my portfolio? Slash should I? Essentially, Jose has these other passions, maybe not specifically industrial design, um, and he's wondering if he should put them in his design portfolio. I, okay. I think that if it doesn't incorporate itself, I think you can always find a way to incorporate these passions into your work. You know, uh, scenography. I mean, uh, I'm not <laughs> quite sure what that is, I, but I think it has to do with scenes I, I and check, developing scenes. I think I would agree. I mean, from context clues, maybe. Yeah, and, and I mean, setting up renderings is... It's an art form. It is an art form, and that's some sort of scenography. Mm -hmm. I think fashion, if you're really interested in fashion, then pursue soft good products. Yes. You know, yeah. pursue... Do, pers do a backpack or something. Yeah. F find f find the Venn diagram between your interests and your work. Mm, it's beautiful, James. And uh, and that, that could be your portfolio. On the other hand, if you want to put supplemental sort of creative work, put it at the end of your portfolio. You know, I don't think that you should try to weave it in to your product portfolio because a lot of times that can be kind of messy. Yeah, I like I, I, it, I agree. Know, you know yeah. what I mean? I, I agree for sure. I actually I'm trying to think back on my experience. So I did a good bit of graphic design when I was starting out, like I've mentioned previously. And I do remember in my portfolio maybe sophomore or junior year. Oh, that's one thing I wanted to say. I started my portfolio, oh, did I say that? Freshman year? Yeah. Um, but keep, you know, start your portfolio early and then just keep reiterating it. Right. And the key thing to note here is that your portfolio is never finished and it's never going to be finished. Nope. Um, so start it early and just keep uh, refining it. But I had graphic design in the end of my portfolio, like you said, James. Nowadays, it would only be design. I also know some people who have a design portfolio and their other portfolio. Hmm. I know a, lot, uh, a few UX, UI designers who maybe are doing UX because that's where the jobs are, but they want to be doing industrial design. Right. So they have both portfolios. Yeah, that's an interesting thing because do you think that there's a good reason for an industrial designer who's interested in working in industrial design to put a UX, UI project in their portfolio? When I graduated from SCAD, I had just taken a UX UI class. Mm. And so I had a little bit of that bug in me, like, you know, maybe UX UI is the right thing to do. Maybe that's a little bit better of a, a place to be. Um, I mean, definitely financially, you can mm -hmm. make a lot more money doing UX UI. And so I was like dabbling in that. And I don't know if I have a good answer for that. I think at the end of the day, I felt like, my passion wasn't in UX UI, but I gave it a good shot. Like I really did try and like, I actually built an iPhone game about this little little hiker guy running up a mountain and, <laughs> and, he, and then the bear would come and he'd jump over the bear. But that's another story for another day. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think that's an interesting. I think uh, if you build two portfolios, it's pretty easy to do on like a Squarespace where you just make projects and then you can separate projects into like an industrial design web page and have it kind of separate from your UX yeah. web page. Well, in the case of no face dot nobody, uh, we checked out his Instagram. Um, so it was actually kind of cool. Yeah, it was very cool. And I think that that could be all that you need to show in terms of these sort of like side interests. Because it does... Oh, yeah. Like, just say, hey, add, check out my Instagram. Yeah. Hmm. It adds a layer to your personality. For sure. And I... But... I don't know that you should necessarily put in projects and weave them into your portfolio. Um, but you can use that skill set to amplify your industrial design projects. Right. I agree. Great question, Jose. Thanks for sending that in.